Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Shapiro Feature Walkthroughs. I'm joined today by Yosef, our Shapiro PP of product. Awesome to have you here, Yosef. It's Thanos good to be back. So today Yosef will walk us through a core feature of Ship Hero. How to pack a ship. Is that right? That's right. Um, so we're gonna walk through how to take an order that's been picked and take it through the packing and shipping process. So this is not a new feature, been around for a long time, um, but it is a very core feature of Ship Hero. All right, so here we have the uh, Ship Hero packing app. Um, and as you can see, I have a number of orders um, that I can ship. And just to go through a few features of this screen, um, you can see there are some filters we have on top. So we can look at orders in a specific status. Um, we can filter by order tags, look at only pickable orders or only orders ready to ship. Now, for the most part, when you're using this screen, it's going to be a ship orders that have been picked using multi-item batch picking. Um, these orders that you see here have not been. You can see they say they're not in a tote. They haven't been picked yet. Um, but you can use this to ship any order that's ready to ship. So, yeah, for the most part in the warehouse, you're going to pick orders using, using batch picking and then bring them to the shipping station and ship them. Um, but any order can be shipped. Now, just to note, there is, of course, bulk ship and single item batch picking. Those shipping flows are a little different. This is specifically for that single order um, that you're just shipping one off or shipping after uh, picking it into a tote. So to start the process, we're going to scan our tote barcode. So I've already picked an order into a tote and I'm going to scan the barcode to bring up the order. I can also use a search bar to search for an order number uh, if I want to ship a specific order. But if I'm just shipping order from a tote, just grab the tote, scan the barcode, and it's going to open the order. You can see it's brought the order up and it shows me the items I need to ship. And one thing to note is that this account has a feature called tote QA um, that is enabled. And what that means is when I bring this order up, uh, these two items still need to be verified. So to verify them, I'm going to either click on them or preferably scan the barcode. And as I scan the barcode, so I'll scan one, You'll see it moves it over to the package side or the packed side of the screen. Uh, and that means that the, the item is packed um, and I'm going to essentially scan all the items to confirm that I have all the items in the tote. If tote QA was off, um, the order would start in a packed state. So everything would already be on the right side of the screen and it wouldn't require me to go through that verification step. So I'm gonna pick the rest or pack the rest of the items. So I'll scan my other French onion and scan the original. Now, if I scan an item again or scan too many, there was a warning up saying I've already scanned the required amount. And it's just a check to make sure that, you know, I don't just grab everything. Maybe the, the picker put too many in the tote and I'm going to over overpack the order. So this does check that for you to make sure that you are packing the correct items. Um, a few things you can do here as well. So if, for example, I want to unpack the item, I can go here, unpack. And since there's more than one, I can choose how many. Uh, and the reason you might want to do that or you might want to pack items separately is you can add additional packages. So if this order is too big for one box, I can click on this plus, add another package, and I can put this item in the other package. Each package would have its own weight and dimensions associated with it. Um, so you can, you know, pack and ship each, each package separately. Uh, I'm going to unpack this and we'll just get rid of this package and we'll scan this, to put it back in the original box. The next step would be to choose the box that I'm using. Again, I'm going to use my, my uh, barcode for that. I'll scan my barcode and it chooses the stack box. And that's going to input the dimensions of that package and any weight associated with that package. And you notice the weight has been changing as I'm packing items. And that's coming either from a scale, if I had one connected, or from the item weights that we have in the system. So now the order is ready to ship. Uh, if I'm using the parcel view feature, I can take my picture of the box. So I have my parcel view barcode and that snaps the, the picture of the box. And then I'll scan my print label and, and invoice record as well. And you see that's going to generate the invoice and generate the shipping label. So you can see it shows that the UPS label is generated, that printed out. Before I'm done, there are a few things I can do. So let's say, for example, I've noticed this mistake. I can click over here and void the label. I can also reprint the label, reprint the invoice. So a few options before you actually complete the order. If you avoid the label, um, it's going to reset the items as well. So let's say I want to do that. Avoid the label. 
and you can see these items are now back in that pack state so I can make any changes. So let's say I noticed that the weight was wrong or um, and maybe the address was incorrect. I can void it, right. make the changes, make the corrections that I need and print the label again. So I'll just scan my barcode again and that's gonna print the new label, print that out and then the order is done. So now once the order is ready to go, ship it out and scan my complete order barcode and that's going to bring me back to the screen where I'll grab the next tote, scan it, and repeat the same process. And that's it. Um, packing and shipping is a process that once you get into that groove, you can go very quickly. Um, it's designed again to be pretty hands off. So everything using those command barcodes um, that you can, you can get, use the box barcodes, the product barcodes um, to really make it a, a very seamless and very easy process for the packer. Um, and that's all there is to it. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you very much, Joseph. That was super intuitive and super easy, actually. Yep. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like to check out other feature walkthroughs, click on the top right corner. And if you're ready to unlock your e-commerce fulfillment superpowers, visit shipyro.com to test schedule a call with us. Thank you for watching and have a great day.